Hello and welcome to Lindy's YouTube channel. My name is Aditi and I'm back with mixed media inspiration for you all. Today I am playing with the new release Lindy's Magical Shakers, the flat set which is called Vinnie's View with these gorgeous colors. So I here am using three colors to build my background and they are roll in the hay ears looking at your olive portrait blazer blue these are the three shades that i am mixing on my palette with water to create watercolors and i have two pieces of white watercolor paper here cut down to the size of an atc card and I begin by just laying color with my paintbrush very randomly. I, I lay down the yellow, I then lay down the green at places and then the blue to create an abstract background filled with color. This is a very soothing and relaxing process. I just make sure my paper is wet and I lay color i dry between layers whenever i'm happy and i feel like i have enough color i can stop this makes for amazing backgrounds for any project be it an art journal or a card front Now once I'm happy, I am using Distress Oxide in Peeled Paint, Fossilized Amber and Uncharted Mariner, colors that match with my background and this stencil designed by Nuneka from Funky Fossils and I am just using a blending tool and applying these oxide inks through the stencil randomly on my background. What this does is it is going to tie together all the three colors with this beautiful pattern of the stencil. Once I'm happy, I repeat the same process on my second ATC card as well. And this is just building layers for our background. Next up, I am using this stamp set again from Funky Fossil designed by Nuneka. Again, going in with the same Distress Oxide inks and stamping to add more of this color but with texture, with interest and this just adds more detail to the background. With that done, you can see all that texture. Although it's a flat layer, it just creates so much dimension. I am now using the script stamp with black ink to bring in contrast and another layer of texture. Once I'm happy with that, I go back in with the same colors on my palette, but with a fine tip paintbrush and add splatter with those colors. Once that's dry, I am going to add splatter using black and white artist's acrylic ink. This just adds the contrast that I need as well as ties everything together cohesively. Mm -hmm. 
I did add a little golden splatter as well just to bring in that shine. Now to complete it, I am using the black ink and distressing the edges. What this does is it is going to frame my ATCs and it adds so much more depth, dimension, bringing in all the attention within that ATC card. Next up, I want to use this iris dye from Crafty Miraki to create my focal point. So I have another piece of watercolor cardstock and I'm going to use the two remaining colors, Cafe Terrace Tangerine and Bring the House Brown for the floral clusters. So I am again just doing wet on wet. I've misted my paper with water and I'm just dropping in the color, blending it in making sure I have gradation so for the leaves I'm just using the yellow and the green together and when I die cut I will have leaves that have both these colors creating a nice tone effect. Once that's dry, I have used it to die cut the elements for my flower and I am using pieces of vellum that I'm randomly tearing on both the longer ends just for an organic look and I use double sided tape to glue them down to my ATCs. That just creates a distinguishing layer from the background and that will help us distinguish the foreground from the background. Now it's all about creating that composition. I am using a three floral cluster on each of the ATCs and since it's a set of ATCs I have just made sure to have the composition on the right on one of the ATCs and then on the left on the other ATC. I first like to place certain elements to get a visual idea of how I would like them and then when I'm happy I use liquid adhesive to adhere the stems and 3D foam tape just to create dimension when I glue down the flowers. I glue a few leaves with liquid adhesive and some others with foam tape, again playing with the idea of creating depth and dimension. With that done, my composition is now complete and I need sentiments or phrases to add meaning to these ATCs. So I am using the All and Create Tiny Word Set and adding single words right near my composition over that vellum to add that meaning and complete these ATCs. Now here is a closer look at all that gorgeous texture, depth, dimension, detail and everything in our background is flat. It's just layer over layer, texture over texture without any dimension and the dimension that I've added is all just on that floral cluster. I hope this inspires you and we look forward to seeing your creations. Until the next time, take care and bye-bye.